think it's about fifth grade and um, I decided to uh, go out for a football team tackle football team of course I had been playing for years uh, you know touch football tackle football whatever in the in the neighborhood so I go out and uh, I have a had a really good friend uh, from school that was already on a team and he said well you can come out and try out for our team so I go out there and uh, I, I, I rode with him uh, his uh, I, I walked over to his house and uh, rode to the practice and you know you had to buy a certain amount of things I had to buy my own pants and my own shoulder pads but the helmet made me fine so they picked me out a helmet an extra small uh, the chin strap went straight across and didn't even get to my chin. I was a little skinny guy, really skinny guy. Um, so anyway, we do the calisthenics and different things. And this is my first time to ever be in tackle football with a helmet. And um, I remember staying in line and I'd already kind of butted heads with a couple of guys in the drills. Um, and I was thinking, how hard am I supposed to hit them? Because I kind of got, kind of got, uh, they kind of got the better of me in the first time or two. Uh, then, you know, and to me, I felt like um, the, the head coach was like some kind of a god or something. He was walking around with a whistle and a, and a hat on and short pants. And, I mean, he looked very official. Uh so, we're standing in line, and, and it was almost my turn. I believe the guy behind me says, oh, here comes the head coach. you got to be do, do real well this time. So, it stuck in my head, and I said, oh, okay. And they said, next two. So, I get up there, and the guy across from me is outweighs me by 35 or 40 pounds. And uh, they said, hut, and I... I went right through him. <laughs> I, knocked, I knocked him completely out of the way. My helmet spun around to the back of my head. And uh, and the coach is clapping his hand and says, All right, all right. What's your name, son? Uh, Chris Handy. Oh, get this boy a helmet that'll fit. So the assistant co coach took me over. And they kept on putting in new padding around my helmet just to try to get my head down far enough that the chin strap would hold on to it. But uh, I tell you what, I had a lot of good fun. That was the Irving Boys Football Association, the Mustangs. Uh, we had a good football team. Uh, I was probably one of the littlest guys. We did have a, a littler guy. Uh, he was very fast. His name was Xavier. Um, I ended up with number 60 because I guess I was one of those kids that uh, I didn't have any problem with <laughs> knocking somebody's head off <laughs> I mean I didn't I had no fear no fear at all and so uh, I ended up being right guard and defensive tackle <laughs> so that was pretty incredible uh, we went undefeated and untied uh, that year well, we won the championship um, I think my mother went to about two games I never went to a practice my dad never went to a practice I never had any of my siblings come to any of my practices and my sister tells me now that she went to a couple of my games but I kind of really think she didn't uh, on my first year, which was the Mustangs. Well, what was cool about that Irving Boys Football Association, IBFA, is so all the teams in the, in the younger group were all college football team names. So we were the Mustangs, like SMU. We played the, we played the uh, Frogs. We played the Sooners and the Texans and the Rams. Oh, see, no, the Rams was in the next level. Anyway, we uh, 
the coaches uh, for the next group up because I was aging out of the first group. Uh, they they held a draft and I was drafted onto the Bengals. So I got a new team for a new age and I was one of the younger ones on that one. And in our first year we went undefeated. <laughs> um, and I thought I forgot to mention. I don't know how, but I was an all-star. Well, I do know how. I knocked everybody out. One one Friday night when I was when I was uh, playing for the uh, Mustangs, the coach had a like a popcorn night for us with video and uh, review some film that they had, and uh, he was praising me. He said, "Okay, look here, watch this, watch him first play of the game." The guy on the other team, I'll take this back. This was on the Bengals because we were playing the Chiefs, which is a professional football team name. So this guy on the Chiefs, who was like 220 pounds, uh, he lined up. He was, he was mostly heavy, just fat, you know. And uh, he lined up across from me. I, I believe the first play, I, I went right into him and, and, and knocked him down. He fell on top of me. And the second play, coach, coach is showing the video. He says, now, now watch this guy when he lines up on the second play. You see how he's backed up? And then here's the play. And I, it gives me a running start to go hit the guy. So I take off and I, I knock him down again. <laughs> I, uh, I hit him in the legs. And he fell right on top of me. Uh, on the third play, or by the third play, uh, his teammates are all telling him, move up, move up. He's playing in the linebacker position. And uh, so anyway, I, I was praised for that. And I, <laughs> in my life, I eat up praise. I just eat it up. I, I can't get enough of it. I, I don't know. Maybe I, well, I didn't get it at home. So um, I always wanted people to be proud of me. So I always did the best I could. And... Um, it doesn't matter where the praise comes from. <laughs> uh, I was uh, happy to get it. In my football career, I ended up playing up until junior high uh, age. I went into the Pop Warner. We were on. I was on the Buffaloes, and you know I made the All-Star team every year. And um, anyway, uh, had a had a great uh, football career. I do want to add one more. Uh, one one of the times I was playing for the Bengals, I was playing for the Bengals, and the uh, <laughs> there's a bird making a weird noise. Um, there was a kind of a muddy game, and so we punted the football, and the punt, the punt receiver, the re return man. He, he came down and, and raised his knee, and the ball bounced up off his knee and flew in the air, and I kind of caught it. It was a fumble or a muff punt I caught in the air. Well, it had came back so far, I still had a lot of players in between me and the goal line. But I caught that thing. I'm wearing number 60, and I juke and move. I, I, really, <laughs> I really couldn't play well in the mud. I juked out about four or five guys and then took off and I scored a touchdown. So that was a, that was really fun. The next year they made me a wide receiver. I went from an offensive lineman to a wide receiver. Anyway, um, enjoyed football a whole lot. Played a lot of football outside of that kind of football tackle, just playing with guys. I was a very athletic. Um, I have my limitations with uh, my hamstrings are very 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 tight and that stems from my club feet when I was uh, when I was born then anyway all right thank you bye